What's going on everybody? Today I'm doing a different type of video. I'm actually gonna be going out and visiting a piece of EV history and I wanna take you with me, so let's go. So it's probably already in the title of this video, but today I'm down at the OSU Center for Automotive Research and there are rumors that there's an EV1 in this parking lot, so I'm gonna go see if I can find it. EV1 is probably the most rare EV on the planet right now. They only made 4,000 of them and ended up crushing most of them basically to make sure that people wouldn't drive them again, and only about 40 remain. There's one working one at the Smithsonian, and the rest have been donated to universities and research facilities. That car is GM's EV1, the car of the future today. And that is why I'm here today, to go see if they have one in their parking lot. And this is it. Holy crap. Obviously very worse for wear, but in much better shape. Just covered in cobwebs. Wow. So this part's really cool right here. In the front here, this is actually how you would charge it. There's a little paddle that slides in here and it actually used inductive charging. Charging the EV1 is very simple. Just insert the charger paddle into the charging port, which is located in the vehicle's front face shield. All right, gonna see if it's open. Oh my God, it's open. Holy crap, this is insane. So this is inside a literal piece of history. I'm gonna sit in it, cause I have to. Wow, this is crazy. All these buttons and everything. Wow. This is like your shift knob, you've got the on off button. Holy crap, this is insane. Yeah, I don't think it had, yeah, there's like no place to put the key. I can't remember how the key goes in. To enter the EV1, you'll need your personal ID code. The key is optional. Once inside, there are several features that will make you feel more like a jet pilot than an average driver. For starters, you will not find an ignition switch. To start the EV1, you need to enter your ID code and then press the run button. To turn it off, press the lock button. Yeah, it looks like they've completely unplugged any kind of working parts on the vehicle. It's literally just a shell of its former self. This shift knob is completely disabled. Like it just moves back and forth. It doesn't actually shift or do anything. So they've completely gutted this entire car. And it looks like this one has just been completely abandoned. Nobody's touched it, it looks like. It's dirty. It's got broken panels, all kinds of stuff. It's just really not in good shape. So it looks like it's literally just been sitting here for years.
So back at home base now, uh, really cool seeing the EV1 today. Um, obviously not a lot to it, I can't drive it because they've completely gutted it. But a lot of history there, definitely cool seeing an actual one in person because there are so few left. If you wanna learn more about the EV1, I'm not gonna do a whole video explaining everything about it because there's a really good documentary called Who Killed the Electric Car? talking about the EV1 in specifically and kind of going into the history of that car. So definitely go check out that documentary if you haven't already. I think there's some on YouTube, so just Google it or search it on YouTube and it'll pop up. If you like this style of video where I'm kind of talking while I'm actually checking out of the car instead of just doing a voiceover, definitely hit that like button down below. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my future videos. Got a lot of exciting stuff coming to the channel at the end of the year here, so make sure you don't miss any of that. So thanks for going along with me today and I will see you in the next video.